We're having an amazing open here. Lots of good traffic coming through. Awesome fixer property that we've been holding open. This is the second and final showing of this unit on Marlboro. We're in the home stretch. We got about, what, 30 minutes left, John? So the upstairs on this home is a really long and large master. So I love the potential that this space has to create like a really, truly luxurious master. We've got a few really small closets um, and some built-in space, but this would be a awesome. So we've had a very successful second open house. We've probably had about 50 groups come through. Um, at this point we have, um, I think about a dozen offers on the table and we're expecting probably about a dozen more before the end of the day. So, so far so good. Great listing. Our client's gonna be Bye puppy. Oh, that's not cute. <laughs> He's like the cutest dog, but this is not a cute moment. What's up guys? Lauren here in Imperial Beach today and tomorrow. My hair was super cute this morning, but the humidity, it's not messing around. So this adorable house actually has two units. So I'll be showing you the main house today, and then I'm gonna be back here 11 to two tomorrow, and I'll give you guys a tour of the back house then. But for now, here's the beautiful living room. And then you've got your dining room here off to the side. I'm loving these really cute little archways. And then we've got an amazing kitchen here. Loving the herringbone, the quartz countertops, the shaker cabinets, the stainless steel appliances. And so off the kitchen is the hallway here to um, some hall storage there. We've got some linen storage here. You've got two bedrooms and then a really pretty main bathroom. Hi guys, so every bedroom has mirrored closets and then out of every window you pretty much have a beautiful view. It's a really nice street here, Delaware Street and IB. Great location and then you've got dual pane windows everywhere. So you come back through your kitchen, you've got a little step down area into this awesome bonus room that goes out into the backyard. This could be a playroom, a bigger dining room, an office space, so many possibilities. And then you've got your single car garage. Nothing crazy in there, but you do have a pretty good size water heater for both units. You've got a newer garage door. It looks like epoxied floors, so ready to go in there. Then you've got a beautiful sized master that also looks out to the backyard. You've got huge mirrored closet. Okay, and then you head outside from here. You've got this awesome covered patio. You've got a beautiful yard, perfect amount of grass. You've got the ocean breeze happening right now. And here's your rental unit. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. I'll be back from 11 to two. We're waiting for a buyer's meeting here at Phil's Coffee in La Jolla. And I personally, for agents out there, I like meeting over here because there's a whole parking lot. So the clients always have a place to park. So yeah, just hanging out here, waiting for our clients to arrive, excited to get the buyer press. Small. Back to Fixer Friday, Trojan edition, but it's Saturday. <laughs> the shower's small. Yeah, it's a small bathroom. <laughs> He's sitting in the future bathroom. There's the toilet spot. <laughs> Not on the toilet. Not on the toilet. You're and you see where he's at. Because the shoes are good. Yeah, it's going to come somewhere right in there. It's so coming along. He knows, he knows now that we're going to have a soft pet. Here's bedroom number one, framed in the closet today. So cool. And then bedroom two. You excited, you guys? <laughs> Lots of good stuff happening. Okay, I'm sorry that you have to turn your phone, but have you guys seen this amazing interior show? This is redonkulous. This woman made her house a castle, and it's so extremely amazing, but ridiculous at the same time. <laughs> yes. Yes. What if this was your neighbor, you guys? Would you love it or hate it? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? This skate park that this dude built in his like living room takes up about 85% of his house. What would you do if this was your tenant? 